Hello guys, so let's continue talking about David Kibi. If you're new, I'm gonna leave the link on the playlist down below. I will tell you a little pre-story. Several years ago, I was watching YouTube videos as usual, and uh, I encountered the videos of one Russian or Ukrainian stylist when he started talking about Kibi types. And he mentioned only five types, uh, dramatic, classic, natural, gamine, and romantic. And I found it super interesting. And he started describing every type. And um, when he described gamine type, I felt like that was something that was missing. And I realized that that's probably why I couldn't find myself in fashion at all. Nothing worked for me every time somebody was talking about this or that piece of clothes. If I was trying to wear this, it looked very funny at least. So, and I felt like I just don't match anything in this world. But So I needed categorization, which is very funny. Some people get offended by this and I needed this. I needed, somebody would put me in a category. I would feel super cozy in this, like in my own uh, small home, which I would be able then to beautify. But I needed that. So when somebody started talking about gamine and how they look in those long mama dresses and uh, what is happening with her bone structure and what appearance it creates, I saw myself in it. And I realized that this is the technology that I want to find. And this guy said that he's not too deep into this subject. And he said that there is many places in the internet where people type each other, where people take it super seriously, where people are super much into that. I didn't want to go too deep into that, but I was very curious about how I can grasp this and maybe help myself to find my style. I didn't think at that time about creating any videos for you guys about this. I was creating, as usual, my contouring series, my makeup videos, my transformations and stuff. Uh, so I didn't even think about it. Uh, at that time, I had long hair, I had long nails, <laughs> and I looked pretty different. So I started being super curious about this system, and I found some parts of the book in internet. Then I found some translations of some parts of the book in internet. Mostly I found the test, then I found the physical profiles of all the types, and then I found the recommendations for each type. I loved that so much and I started doing the test. First I did the test and I got the answers that were close to theatrical romantic, between theatrical romantic and soft gamine. And I don't think now that I'm soft gamine, I'm something else and I'm gonna tell it in one of my next videos, so stay tuned. What made this, this reveal for me was, I told you about this in one of my previous videos, when I made a picture of myself standing straight in the bikini and then I put this picture on my computer and I placed myself close to Marilyn Monroe and David Kibi says we don't compare uh, ourselves with each other but on, I understand why is that but on the other hand I think it's sometimes so hard to evaluate yourself it's very hard to evaluate any data any information unless you compare it to something else in this world the evil would not exist if we couldn't compare it to the kindness. You know, in this universe, you gotta compare black to white in order to understand that there is black, that you have this black, uh, okay? Just to understand that this red is warmer, you have to compare it to something cooler. And then you just know, but you get this knowledge first by comparing. That's my thought and I do believe it's true. Unless I would, Compare myself to Marilyn Monroe, I would never know how straight I was. And I didn't think that I would be that straight, like a guy was like a boy with Marilyn. I started building those outfits based on what Kibi said and started looking at that. Then I made this video, I cut my hair shorter. So this is the beginning of my Kibi journey. I realized that probably this long hair is dragging me down. I felt much better when I cut this bob. I was reading those parts of the book over and over again. And this is approximately at that time when I decided that I want to make a video about this. This is why some of the pictures are not accurate because I found somewhere in different places and internet I found some Kibi celebrities lists when people tied them themselves but it looked like it was verified by Kibi. Some of them I didn't quite understand why they are there but I was like okay he knows much better than me like who am I to to doubt I didn't have as many clients than he had I didn't have all that knowledge that he had about all those fabrics 
about fashion in general. Why I call these body types? Because this is what I saw in the internet, how it was called in Russian. Some bloggers and some people in Russia was calling that system. That was called Kibi body types. And this is why I called these body types. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe people limiting themselves within the, all those fruits, like pear shape, apple shape, and stuff like that. I was thinking, they will click on body types and they start learning a totally new technology and they will, they will stop correct themselves and they will start loving what they have and they will start understanding that hourglass, I don't know, tall hourglass and small hourglass and small hourglass with angular uh, bones and small hourglass with delicate bones, all those are totally different things. So I was thinking about connecting people and going up, leading them to that direction. So that was wrong because Kibi, Kibi's biggest part of the book is uh, like connecting the essence to the body structure and uh, stop wanting being somebody else and realize finally that you're a star of your own life and the best thing that you need is already you have. You just need to showcase it, make those best things about you just pop and uh, your essence shine through. So that was this book about. So that was called Kibi Image Identities. And maybe by calling it body types, people started too much thinking about the shapes and people even still, they write their measurements to find out their body type. They write their measurements like 33 here, I have 20 like something here and 60 something here on, on, on the hips, what kind of body type I am. So people don't understand that it's not about this, it's a, it's a bone structure in general. And I knew that from the beginning, but I didn't think that people would connect the body type words with this mathematical, only physical approach without any thinking about the overall look, head to toe, without like gestures and how the woman is talking, how she's living her life and stuff like that, how she is perceiving herself. Any type can have the same measurements as you. Now, as I understand in those groups, strictly keeping in Facebook, what they are talking about is not even this. He doesn't want to put them into types and stuff. He even sometimes tells to forget about those names of those types, to forget about those types, just to perceive yourself enlightened subjectively, as he says. He doesn't say, he says that it's impossible to perceive yourself fully objectively. So instead of that, it is enlightened subjectivity. That's how he calls this now. So he's trying to, he's doing exercises so women would understand their like lines better, I don't know. At the same time, he's kind of against categorizing something like that. He's now against his own quiz because this quiz led women again to too much physical analyzation without understanding head to toe look, without seeing, without looking. They are just looking at this part, this part, this part. They do mathematics, this part plus, this part plus this part, and they're doing this mathematically without just looking and perceiving the whole thing, which is sometimes can be quite confusing for some people, especially if they used to those older techniques, like to see if they're apple shaped. But to me, the test is a great example. It's a, it was a great scheme for my mind. I'm also loving structure to understand things. So when I'm loving that structure, sometimes I just need a scale or something. I just need to sit down and be able to draw everything. I just need to sit down and be able to put everything in a column and be able to describe everything in a column. This is how I understand this better. And I never was interested only about myself. I was so curious about all of the types. I was so curious about being able to see it in any woman that is around me. So I spent many hours on studying that test. So I do think that test is still cool to use just to have the direction and just a bit more clarity in your mind, maybe how that works, maybe more about other people even than about yourself. Because if it's about yourself, again, you can't be that objective about yourself, especially at the beginning, if you don't have enough um, experience. Another misconception maybe that I still use is, I still use clear types, natural, classic, and gamine. David Kibit doesn't use those types anymore. He says that it can't be 50-50 in our world. Everything is slightly yang or slightly yin. So natural. It can't be quite that natural balance, he says. It's, slight, it's whether more flamboyant natural or 
if taller, for example, or it's a more to the softer version. Same with classics and same with gamins. But to me, I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but I see those types still. David himself doesn't trust his book as much as I trust his book. And it's so obvious for me. So I was even pretty upset that he stopped using those clear types. My mom is gamine. She doesn't look herself in soft gamine lines, outfits, flamboyant gamine either. Next thing. In many of my videos, you probably noticed that I use sometimes feminine and masculine terms. Now, this is not correct. In Kiwi communities, they hate it that I do this, me or some other people. Uh, when I was using those words, I was d more describing of what I see. And sometimes I wanted to differentiate one from another and maybe this is how I expressed my feelings. But that's wrong because see dramatics, flamboyant naturals, everybody who has a lot of young in their body, they are really feminine. It's just their femininity looks different. And this is why they got this term, yin and yang. So not to call it more feminine or more masculine or anything like that, not to have those terms. This is why we have yin and yang. It's just different characteristics in our universe. It's, in, it's everywhere. In animals, in uh, flowers around us, in trees, in nature, in buildings, everywhere, in different kinds of art. Our planet is a piece of art. If you start seeing that, it's just two different characteristics, but it doesn't mean that it's more feminine and more masculine. Another thing, in the book, he has recommendations for every separate piece of clothes. If you remember, all my Kiwi series, I'm reading from the book and I'm showing the pictures that I, I try to find the closest piece to what I'm reading about and show this to you. The text is purely his. I was reading word by word. I didn't tell you anything from myself because I felt like I don't have a right to do this because he is the master of it. If you remember, in my first videos, it's he said this, this, and this. Avoid this, this, and this. Avoid, for example, long skirt with ruffles, something like that, something like that. So it's a piece of clothes, right? And he told about each piece of clothes, recommendations and avoid. And when I pr was pronouncing this word avoid, many people were super offended. How can you tell me what to avoid? I can wear whatever I want, you know? As far as people started learning more about Kibi, it all started coming to him as well. All those disagreements, confusions, people got confused to me after other people's blogs, after, after his book, also there are many people who were confused and they started writing him. See, in the 80s, you kind of don't get as much feedback. There was no internet at that time. You gotta be brave to be in YouTube because of the amount of offended people who you offended. It's a normal thing, it always is happening. Even like the, the, the angel from the, coming from the sky and making YouTube video about the beauty of this world. This video will have some dislikes, I can assure you. And this video will have some people who got offended. And I think he just didn't want to confuse or offend people. He, he just loves people, he loves women, he didn't want them to be confused. I think he hated that other bloggers are also presenting his information in a not very correct way, things that he didn't mean. So I think that he was pretty pissed off about this and I can understand that for sure. This is one of the reasons why I try to be as close to the book as possible, so not to throw on some of my taste things. I knew that it would happen, of course, because I'm just, I'm just me, I have my own taste and of course I'm, I'm showing you the pictures as much as I understand them, right? But I was trying to use a dictionary, I was trying to translate it very accurately, I was trying to understand each word before I gave it to you. But I think that, yeah, David just encountered many people who were confused and he didn't want to be a cause of that confusion. He, he didn't want to... And so he was trying to handle that somehow. And people were super offended that he told them some avoids like recommendation and like you should avoid that, especially in 2015 and 2020. This is the time when tolerance to everybody, everybody can be whatever they choose to be and stuff like that. And that is all kind of that very intimate subject and people started really protesting against it. So I changed it a little bit and I made it slightly softer. I said, mm, you will not look as good in this as you would look in good in this. Which is now, I think it's true. 
I think it's true. Because even if we see two women and one of them is more groomed, but is wearing wrong lines, wrong kibi lines, and another woman is not groomed, but she is wearing right kibi lines, the one that is groomed will look much better. To me, that's much more important. So I think any woman looks good in everything. It's just a matter of looking your best and looking just wow. That is so much her, you know, something like that. Look, Looking as close to yourself as possible. So it would not clash, you know, the visual picture and what people are communicating, what they are perceiving, what kind of energy or vibe or essence they are perceiving from you. So it would, they would not clash. They would kind of vibrate one with each other. And now they are not using that separate piece of clothes that doesn't look for this or that type. However, he talks sometimes about it in his comments, in his Facebook groups. For example, when he's commenting this outfit of a woman or another outfit, he can say this skirt is more soft classic or something like that. He can do that sometimes, but just in general, it's kind of not nice now to separate clothes pieces like that. So now it's more about head to toe look and how you style those things. So same shirt, same white shirt, can be worn by any type. It's just depending on how you play with the rest. What you wear with this, how does another piece of clothes speaks with this piece of clothes in a certain proportions and um, what kind of accessories and shapes and silhouettes and stuff. That is what matter most. And uh, I'm gonna film another video about this, how we combine things, how we, how we do outfits in one of my next videos, so stay tuned. Subscribe on my channel, by the way, not to lose me in the YouTube. Another thing, loads of recommendations that he gave in the book, they were made in, this, in the 80s. And when I'm reading to you this um, 80s book, it's hardly you can find those tailored things nowadays, because nowadays they added stretch into many fabrics. And in the 80s, there were not so much stretch. Probably if you was thrifting in a thrifting shop, sometimes you would encounter some, some older pieces from the 80s. Can you, like with, with shoulder pads and stuff, of course you can feel that the the way fabric is lined on your body is slightly different. The, the, the way fabric is made is slightly different than now. Now almost everything has a stretch in it. So when the clothes piece has a stretch, it's lying on your body differently. It's accommodating your lines differently. Now the most emphasis goes on the way how you make this outfit, make the outfit work. So one piece would be related with another piece and also the colors. You can play with the colors. Another thing, um, in one of my first videos, I said bigger head, narrower shoulders. Kibi didn't say this anywhere. Smaller body, bigger head. Remember in one of my earlier videos, when I was explaining you about the height, the visual height, I was telling you about bigger head, a smaller body, smaller shoulders, visually so, that kind of... I still see this actually, you know, in many people, but also so you would know that it was my interpretation of what I saw, but Kibi doesn't say this anywhere. And um, there's sometimes there can be probably cases where it's not the case, but the person is still this or that type. So don't let it mislead you. Makeup. Now I've done the whole series about makeup. Probably this is the series where I slightly went off the rail from Kibi slightly. I still was using those words when he described the way the technique, the way you were doing this. I also was looking on the celebrities that David Kibi described and I also was looking how they look in this or that makeup and I also made my conclusions about this and I showed it to you at the same time. You know that in the 80s makeup was quite different. Sometimes they could not even blend the line at all. So the line would just be one solid line. And uh, this is not the way how people are doing makeup nowadays in 2020. I realized that the when, when I was doing those makeup series, David Kibi also says in some, for some types that no, no for nude makeup for them. They should be, their makeup should be like full, always like a bright makeup. And I also was thinking about if I present the information that way, then some women probably would not like it because uh, first of all, nude makeup nowadays looks slightly different than in the 80s. Nude makeup exists. Nude makeup is wanted by many women because not everybody wants to wake up in the morning and do like the full colorful makeup on themselves with many layers. And I think every woman looks amazing without makeup, first of all, if she's groomed. And nowadays, as I heard that he doesn't use that 
80s technique anymore in makeup. He uses pretty much the same makeup on everyone, just blending. Everybody blends now, so he's using that now. Another thing, in order to present Kibi's information, I have to show pictures. I have to rely on something. And the only way to present your pictures are the pictures of celebrities, because they are pretty famous and there are pictures all over internet. So I don't think they care too much. People are using their pictures anyway. And we are using their pictures because they are so out there. And this is a great example on how we can learn ourselves. If they say and Kibi say, and probably this is true, that only he can type people. Only he is the only one who can see this, who can tell you which type you are, or you, if you are skilled enough. But on the other hand, I think it's very important to address celebrities' photos, because I can't just uh, take random people's pictures. And another reason for that, that I use celebrities' pictures to show you, is that Kibi has verified, verified celebrities' list, that he verified himself. This is how we can learn from him. It's We're not comparing ourselves to celebrities, okay. Comparing celebrities between each other also is not very good, but this is how we can evaluate data, as I told you before. Now, objectivity. Now, Kibi says that it's very hard to perceive yourself objectively. The only thing that you can achieve is enlightened subjectivity. I agree with him, yeah. You can be objective about yourself to a certain degree, but I think there are still the ways on how you can be more objective about yourself. And no, I'm gonna talk about this in one of my next videos. So now Kibi says more about you should follow your dreams. You are the star of your own life. Connect your physical body to your inner self. Also Kibi said in one of his groups nowadays that image identity is not a label. And sometimes he says even it doesn't even matter how you're cold. What's your type is cold. Let look, let's look another direction. Let's look at your dream you. Like who is your dream you? Who you want to be? Who is your essence? We need to connect that. So he's like very much emphasizing that. Now also he says that clothes pieces, they don't have lines, only silhouettes have lines. Silhouette in a, is an outfit, head to toe. You're wearing a top, you're wearing a skirt, right? You're wearing then there are your legs or you don't see your legs and shoes and then from head to toe, you have a certain silhouette. So this silhouette have, has lines. If it's a silhouette all one color, black, 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 very long gown, very long dress, all same color, then it, it is elongated vertical line silhouette. So this is where we use this line thing. And then if it's a has a lot of color blocks, different colors, different parts of your body, then it's color blocks. So it's a broken line. It's called line or broken line, you see? So he says that about this now. So another thing that he says that silhouette is built in the whole look. And he says that separate piece of clothes can wear, can be worn by any type. It's just a matter of how you build a silhouette. And we're going to talk about how to build a silhouette in one of my next videos. Now, what he says that creating an outfit, stop concentrating on details, separate from the whole. You, he says, everybody can just as easily rock a v-neck a boat neck, a crew neck, a plunger neck, off the shoulder, and any other neckline that exists, if it's in context of the right outfit. You see? So he is more emphasizing about now about how to build outfit and stuff like that. So we again, we're going to talk about it soon, because in the book, in the recommendations, he also talks about separates and how to build that outfit together, how you build head to toe look. So we're gonna definitely put more attention soon on those parts of the book. He also says this, we should start with a reason for an outfit. People are just arbitrarily putting a couple of pieces together just that don't have any connection to each other. To create an outfit, one piece should need another piece. There should be an emotional connection between them. I'm gonna address this thing in one of my next videos. And the last thing that I wanted to talk to you today, there are probably more, but this is just the last for today that I thought about. In David's terms, hourglass is the one that has curve dominant. Every type can have so-called hourglass figure. What is for us hourglass figure? For us, it's difference between uh, chest, waist, and hips. Just the more difference that is, the, the more hourglass that is. The less difference, the, the narrower hourglass that is. And when it's no difference at all or very little difference, we consider it as straight. So in older techniques, this is the case. And so when people started seeing many women in Kibi's verified list, 
having those different hourglass figures, whether it was dramatic, whether it was natural, uh, many of them had the hourglass, but he still assigned them to soft natural and dramatic. So he realized that people getting confused with that too much. So he said that hourglasses curves are dominant. Bodies can also be length dominant and frame dominant. Frame is your bone structure, basically. So they can be curve dominant, length dominant, or frame dominant, right? So the ones that are curve dominant, so the first thing you see is just obvious, is just curvy, lush, is just flesh, basically. Yes, but we're gonna talk again about this in one of my next videos. This one was pretty long, I'm sorry, but I hope you got my point. Now, I have my Pinterest board. Boards are the inspiration for the Kibi types. The only thing here, so you would know, I already talked about it, but I want to repeat. People that I show you there, it doesn't mean that they are this type. It's just the outfit that I think would look good, can look good on this or that type. And it's also my viewpoint on this technique after I learned what I've learned. I also have my inspiration. So I just wanted to share with you. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm gonna leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos, and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.